Okay, last week uh, we spent a lot of time talking about happiness. This week I want to talk a little bit about uh, relationships, particularly what a concept I call creationships. So we live in a world where uh, a lot of times we see a lot of amazing things. We live in a Disney world, a happy ever after world. And uh, like anybody else, I love to go watch those things. But the reality is um, I don't believe that relationships just happen. We have the responsibility and can create in our lives, strong relationships. That's how good relationships grow over time. It's how you create strong relationships from the beginning. You create relationships. Well, how do you create? What what do creators do? Well, principle number one, I believe that we are beings of light and truth. And so we need to invite into our life light and truth. Correct principles that will guide our decisions. Now, oftentimes we make lists. We make lists of what we want Um, out of the other individual in our life that we want to have a strong relationship with. And we want this and this and this. Well, I I want to tell you, get rid of the list. The list is for you. That list of things that you want is the character that you need to build in your own life. And if you will build that character in your own life, then it, it will be attractive to somebody else in your life that also has those same ter- characteristics. Like attracts like. And so if you want to begin to create strong relationships in your life, work on yourself. You're a being of light. Invite light and truth into your light. Get really clear on what you want. Work on those things. And you can begin to create um, a strong relationship with somebody in your life. Okay, principle number two. The reality is is that um, in many cultures and in many instances, particularly in um, sacred texts, um, there is a some sort of a creation story. And in that creation story, there's a word that is used. The word is firmament. And the word firmament literally is talking about the sky or the heaven. It, uh, it really kind of denotes an expanse, uh, a wide extent. In other words, space and time. Now, I want you to think for a moment. After you have invited into your own personal life light and truth, Um, You now need to create in your life time and space um, for that light and truth to do a couple things. First and foremost, to work on you so that you can begin to act, as we've talked about before, on those things and become something in your life. Second, when you're starting to create a strong relationship with somebody, you need to give that relationship time and space. Um, It seems that in the excitement of the beginning of a relationship, we really do that pretty well because we're so excited about, we're we're spending time, we're trying to do things for them. You give it time and space, but the reality is you need to constantly, in creating strong relationships, give the relationship its proper time, its proper space, all the time, every week, consciously, consciously. It's amazing when I talk with people, when I ask them about how much time they spend with each other on a weekly basis, especially if they've been together for a long time, it's oft times that they've kind of let things go in a relationship of spending time and making space for one another in their lives. And so principle number two, time and space. Now, um, I want you to think about these two things over the next couple of days before I write uh, and, and do another blog, and that is... You have an assignment. You need to go do something about this. You need to spend some time writing down characteristics of the things that you want in your life, that you want to invite into your life and become. That's the beginning of creating strong relationships. And if you'll do that and you'll work on yourself, then you'll notice that the relationships around you will get a lot better as you begin to work and focus on the characteristics or light and truth that you're going to invite into your life. Now, the other thing you need to do, time. Remember, time is the the new money, how you're going to spend your time, time and space. You have to make time and create space in your life to have strong relationships. You have to make time for that other person because really love is expressed when you are willing to spend time with that other person and show them that you truly, truly care. All right, um, we will talk more. we got a couple more things to talk about when it comes to creationships, and uh, we'll do that over the next couple of days, and uh, we'll talk to you later.